Hi Aquarius, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just going to take a minute to um, let you know about my website. So I do have a new website where you can order private readings. If you click on shop now, you get my pre -rec my recorded readings that I customize for you. And I get those out usually within 48 hours of the order. And I send you the link um, so you can watch your very own customized video. Um, and you get to keep that forever. Those are cheaper. I also have Book Now, which is a different page. And with Book Now, um, you t set up a time and date with me, and we have a live Skype call, and they are more expensive. So I just want to let you know that that's available. So let's get started on your reading. What is the central theme of Aquarius's reading today? Central theme of Aquarius's reading today. Central theme of Aquarius's reading today. All right, so I have the cornucopia. So this is um, absolute abundance, health, wealth, uh, thanksgiving, having things to be thankful for. So that's really good. Right. And then I, with my tarot, I have two decks that I put together. I, I feel like it gives me a better reading. So if something comes out twice, that's why. And I do read reversals. So for every card, there's like four different um, outcomes. If something comes comes up um, like side by side, it's like, whoa, that's really what that means. You know, really adds that extra significance to it. Um, and we're going to be doing a Romney Gypsy spread. It's a, it's a variation of it. So I need three cards for Aquarius's state of mind at uh, the end of June 2018. What is Aquarius's state of mind? Okay, three cards exactly, so perfect. First, there's the Six of Wands. So with the Six of Wands, there's a parade. There's um, moving away from um, their success. There's victory, you are the winner, strong leadership skills, determination, receiving awards, being recognized. You should be very proud of yourself during this time. Um, you're leading the, the way while others are following. There's pride. There's great news altogether. This is um, the card of Leo, which is a fire sign. So this is fire energy. This is very ambitious. Um, this is also fixed, so this is someone who stands their ground. Uh, this is very theatrical energy, very entertaining energy, cheerful, childlike, uh, boisterous, and playful energy. So you're marching in on this parade. Then we have the Ace of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So there's confusion, there's chaos, there's a lack of clarity, and this is just air energy altogether. So this is representing you, Aquarius is... Uh, cold air, so you, your your air energy, and air is all about action, motion, the winds of change, communication, ideas, painful lessons, contracts, legal agreements. That that's what air is all about. And fire and air get along really, really well. So you're marching in mentally, mentally you feel very victorious, you feel um, like you're getting a lot of recognition, a lot of praise, um, but there's also some confusion mentally, there's also a lack of clarity mentally, um, things are changing, you, you feel aloof, you feel detached. All right, and then we have the six of swords, so we have six twice, which is really adding extra significance to that multiple sixes there may need an adjustment in your attitude um so the six of wands is marching in and the six of swords is swimming out <laughs> um, on the sea of emotions um the six of swords is a transitional period it's it's um moving away from conflict distancing yourself from bad situations, escaping abusive situations, returning to life after trauma. There's a rite of passage here. There's regretful but necessary transitions. 
Um, and this is your energy. This is Aquarius energy. Um, so it's very uh, like unconventional and revolutionary. And it, it's a card of travel, card of moving. So we have mentally you're moving on. Mentally you're moving. You, you're, you just keep going. Uh, mentally, it, and it's very fast with the wand energy there. So, so it's very, very fast moving energy. And you're you're moving on mentally, and you're looking towards the future. You're you're being a free spirit. All right, what's going to help Aquarius on their journey? Three. Okay, so I have the Knight of Cups. And he's in the upright. So the Knight of Cups in the upright is uh, sudden arrivals, uh, great new beginnings, um, but there might be some unfinished pro projects here. Um, this is very impulsive. Um, it, it's the Knight in shining armor, very gallant. There could be proposals or offers here. Uh, following your gut instinct, it's very psychic. Um, searching for love, socializing, drinking. Uh, it's the time to make your move. So if you were planning on making a move, now would be the time to make your move. Using your imagination, getting dressed up, going out, drinking, socializing. Um, seeing how you can be of assistance to other people, developing your psychic abilities, um, offering a shoulder to cry on. This is Scorpio energy. So this is all about I desire. It's a very passionate energy, very intense and emotional, uh, very like all or nothing type, um, very like investigative researcher asking probing questions mysterious secretive suspicious being skeptical um possessive uh, hypnotic empathic uh, but most of all, psychic. It's one of the most psychic cards. The Page of Cups is more psychic than the Knight of Cups, but uh, it's still one of the most psychic cards. What else is going to help Aquarius? Okay, so I have Justice, and it's in the upright. So we're back in this air energy. This is the card of the Libra, uh, which is I Balance. This is a major arcana card. So whenever a justice comes, you're exactly where you deserve to be. Um, the laws of karma, things are balanced. Um, legal matters, marriage goes in your favor. There's a home establishment here, pure motives, uh, hard work paying off. It could be contracts or documents in your favor. Uh, total honesty. What else is going to uh, help you? Okay. So then I have the Knight of Pentacles and he's in the reverse. So when the Knight of Pentacles reverses, there's a uh, work's done, taking a break from work, um, a dishonest business person, uh, financial insecurity, uh, could be like animal abuse. Being unemployed, like lazy, slobby, um, a dropout, bad investments, changing your direction, couch potato, being unfriendly. Uh, this is Taurus energy. And because it's in the reverse, that's why it's so bad. In the upright, it's a really good card. But this is Taurus energy, so there's some conflict here in what's going to help you along your path because earth and air don't get along. You can't contain air. Air doesn't want to stay in one place. Earth is all about being stable, grounded, stubborn. It doesn't like to move. Air loves movement. Air loves change. It is the wind of change. And earth 
hates change. So they're completely different and they're completely opposing forces and they just don't get along here at all. Um, so Taurus in the reverse, these are the negative characteristics of Taurus would be very jealous, um, a perfectionist would be, um, passive, um, possessive, sturdy, well sturdy is kind of like a good trait. Predictable, predictable. This can also be like breaking the rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself. <laughs> Quitting your job or dropping out of school. So I see the victory in parades and public recognition are bringing about the winds of change in a transitional of like a rate of passage transitional time into a period of um like fairy tale dreams come true knight in shining armor um, lots of emotions here but it's all about conquest and it's not really mature but it's fair and balanced and it, it leads to it leads to shabby workmanship, um, quitting a job, dropping out of school, bad investments. So just be aware of that. Okay, what's going on in Aquarius's family and home life? Right, I have the chariot in the upright. That is a major arcana card. That's uh, gaining control over opposing forces, um, control over your emotions. But appearances can be deceiving with the chariot. Um, there's self-control, self-discipline, travel. Again, we have travel. So there's definitely a lot of travel here for you, Aquarius. Um, the June 15th through the 31st. Um, there's a powerful, successful man hiding behind a mask. There's destiny and co-creating your destiny. This is the card of Cancer. Uh, cancer is a water sign. So very emotional, very psychic. Um, but can also be very moody, very um, nostalgic, very nurturing, very motherly, easily offended, very protective, kind of fussy, but very family oriented. What else is going on in uh, Aquarius's home? The end of June. Well, that one may come out, didn't it? So we have the Five of Cups in the upright. So again, we have this emotions. We have sadness, loss, regret, focused on the past, um, being regretful. And this is the card of Scorpio again. So we have Scorpio here twice. We have Cancer and Scorpio. So we're getting a lot of... Uh, very watery energies, very emotional and psychic energies coming in. What else is going on in Aquarius' um, family and home? What else is going on in Aquarius' family and home? One card. One card. Aquarius' family and home, please. Okay, so I have the hair font reverse. So I'm getting a lot of Scorpio and Taurus energy here and a little bit of Cancer. And then I'm getting your energy and Leo. Um, so the hair font when he reverses, this is a major arcana card. Um, this is breaking rules, 
rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, changing religions, a new belief system. Um, it could be an unconventional relationship, being extremely judgmental and hypocritical. And again, this is Taurus energy, and this is the negative aspects of Taurus. So this is very jealous, possessive, stubborn energy. What is going on in uh, Aquarius's romantic and social life? Three cards for Aquarius's romantic and social life, the end of June, please. Three cards for Aquarius's romantic and social life, the end of June. So there's two. So we have Pisces here. Uh, so this is Pisces. This is the hanged man reversed. So this is being obsessed, being absorbed, hanging on, won't let go. Lost faith, hidden motives, and greed. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So there's potential action. There's um, inspiration, creativity, motivation, beginning of physical action, a new lease on life, explosive potential. Uh, you feel inspired and full of energy. There's potential growth, travel again, and energy. Right. And then we have Pisces again here. And the Ace of Wands would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's not specifically any fire sign, but it's fire energy. And then we have the High Priestess here in the reverse. So we have Pisces again. So you may be dealing with a Pisces, especially with all of this uh, water energy that was coming out with Scorpio and Cancer. Um, and this is coming out specifically for romantic and social life. So you may be dealing with a Pisces. Um, person here. So the high priestess reversed. It's not using your intuition, ignoring your inner knowing, um, impatience, not being aware of your talents. There's a lack of female friends, wanting to take on more you can chew, nightmares. There could be menopause here. Um, there's uh, secrets being revealed could be like emotional mental imbalances bipolar disorder being very promiscuous um, could, could be lazy with the high priestess there's two pillars behind her um, one is initial B and one is initial J one stands for Boaz and one stands for Hakim which in English translates to strength and unity. When it's in the reverse, there's no strength here and there's no unity. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of psychic know-how. Um, the high priestess stands on the moon. The moon represents our emotions and she has full control of our, emo of our emotions. When she's in the reverse, she loses control of her emotions. There's emotional outbursts. Um, because the moon is manipulating her and taking full control of her and she's just being completely overwhelmed with this water energy all this emotional psychic energy and um, she can't even see straight and there's just a lack of abundance here there's fantasy illusions delusions um, nightmares The full, okay, so there's a major arcana and there's a minor arcana. The major arcana are major day-to-day -day life of, major life events, and the minor arcana are day-to-day -day life events. Uh, the minor arcana is set up like a regular playing deck, whereas the major arcana starts with zero and ends with 21. So there's 22 cards. Um, it starts with the Fool, so it's called the Fool's Journey. The Fool is the inception of the new soul who decides that they want to come down and play the game. Um, one and two is the Magician and the High Priestess. The High Priestess is number two. The Magician and the High Priestess are the sexual intercourse that bring the idea of the Fool into manifestation, but it takes three and four the Empress and the Emperor to actually bring forth the Fool onto the physical plane. That would be the mother and the father, but this would be sexual intercourse. 
and the female aspect of sexual intercourse. So we have Pisces twice in your romantic and social life. It starts with cancer energy. She's looking towards the past. Um, she's gaining control of opposing forces, um, control over her emotions. She's traveling and she's looking at past travels. Um, so she's completely, this Cancer person is completely focused on the past. Cancer would be anyone who's born June 21st through July 22nd, and it's I Feel Energy. And she's looking at the past, and then it looks like she transitions to the Five of Cups, but she turns into Scorpio, which is I Desire. And she's very, like, she's, she's looking towards the future now, and she lost some things along the way um, she lost some emotions she lost uh, some money she lost some things that she feels very regretful sorrowful she's on her knees in just despair but there's still things there that she's not looking at they're still there they're still valid there's still money there's still emotions there's still love there's still health there's still something there but she has her back turned to what is there, and she's only focused on what she lost. Which goes into the Hierophant Reverse. So there's non-traditional um, things going on. There could be definitely changing your religion, seeing things from a completely different perspective, especially with the Hangman Reverse next to it. There's an obsession here, and you, you're you're looking towards the future but you're obsessed with this idea like you're abandoning your old beliefs your old belief systems are outdated they're in the past they're looking towards the past you're very sorrowful because they meant so much to you in the past but you've changed your perspective and you're now looking towards the future um, and it could have been because of a Pisces and there's burning like explosive potential here and you see that but you're not listening to your intuition you're letting the moon manipulate your emotions you're being manipulated by the moon with the high priestess and again there's there's that Pisces energy again This looks like a spiritual religious journey. There's a lot of balancing things, especially mentally. There's a lot of transitions here. There's a lot of changes. This definitely looks like a spiritual journey that you're currently on. All right, what's going on with Aquarius's money? What's going on with Aquarius's money? Three cards for Aquarius' money in, in June, please. Three cards for Aquarius' money. Okay, so the first one is we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, so this is a lack of progress, but it's still Libra energy. So Libra balances everything. So it's still like fair and balanced with that Libra energy there attached to it. What else is going on with Aquarius' money the end of Jan? What else is going on with Aquarius' money the end of Jan? Right, so I have the two of wands. So now we're getting some ambition, uh, laying a fire under your butt. <laughs> so the two of wands is... Um, Decisions about movement, decisions, deciding a course of action, should I stay, should I go, a need for excitement, something's holding you back, um, bored and being discontent. So you're deciding what you want to do with your money, you have multiple directions, you're trying to figure out which way you want to go with it. And then we have the Queen of Wands in the reversed so you feel very weak powerless ineffective a poor role model 
Um, so your finances are immature. Um, you, you took too many risks here. Um, poor business decisions. A loss of an empire. So your money's not very good right now. Uh, there's a lack of progress. There's multiple ways that you can go. Um, but ultimately here you made the wrong decisions. But this is just for two weeks. So it's not like forever. So what's going on with Aquarius is work, career, and life purpose. Work, career, and life purpose for Aquarius, please. Three, exactly, perfect. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a lost opportunity. There's a lack of planning and foresight. This is Earth energy, which is all about um, money, land, um, health, wealth. We have the Page of Wands in the upright. Um, so there's, this, he's full of marvelous and novel ideas. He's a free spirit. He plans and um, he's all about adventure, travel, exploring new places. There's burning potential here. Um, he's confident, successful. He achieves. He plans. He's, a t he's intelligent. He's brilliant. He's creative. He's imaginative. Um, he's optimistic. He tries everything once. Um, he's very impulsive. He's fire energy. So he would be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And the Ace of Pentacles would be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Both are brand new beginnings. So in your work, career, and life purpose, I'm seeing some brand new beginnings here. Um, there was a lost opportunity, but the Page of Wands has brings something better. The Page of Wands brings originality. The Page of Wands brings creativity. The Page of Wands brings inspiration. Right, and then we, oh, here's another new beginning. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. So, in terms of your work, career, and life purpose, there's a brand new beginning. We have the Ace of Cups, but it's in the reverse, so there's blocked or repressed emotions here. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's very emotional and intuitive, so following your gut instincts. And this is really odd how these landed because above it is your relationship spread and we have the high priestess which is water energy which is pisces energy and then right underneath it we have the ace of cups which is water energy which could represent pisces again and it looks like not following your in intuition and these blocked or pressed emotions are causing you to lose out on abundance on prosperity You're focused on what you lost. You're not focused on what you have. I, I do feel like a lot of uh, sadness from this card. There's a lot of tears. They're being very moody, being manipulated by the moon again. There, there's strong moon energy. There's strong cancer energy here. Um, even though the high priestess is Pisces, I'm feeling with these particular cards. Um, the star represents Aquarius. So her gown's covered in stars. So her gown's covered in you. But we have all this water here. And these are all emotions. These are all tears. And they're falling out. We have the moon here. And we have the moon here. So we're not, we're being manipulated by the moon and we're not taking control of our emotions because our emotions are being blocked and repressed and that's causing issues in your romantic, social life, your work, and your career. Um, so you need to process your emotions. You, you need to feel to heal. It hurts. It hurts, God, I know it hurts, but you have to feel to heal. And then, this is weird because right next to it, with the relationship and then um, the career, we have fire energy. So there's lots of ambition here. 
there's lots of aggression. There's lots of energy. There's lots of getting air done. Um, there's new beginnings and new beginnings side by side. These are both the, the cards of new beginnings. We have the Ace of Wands, brand new beginnings. Page of Wands, brand new beginnings. There's burning potential here. You have so much potential growth, so much creativity, but your emotions are blocking that. Your emotions, you're, you're being manipulated. You're being emotionally manipulated here, and it's causing a block, a stifling to all of this burning potential, all of this creativity that you already have inside of you. So you need to take control of your emotions. This is holding you back, and this is causing major financial difficulties, massive financial difficulties. This is a spiritual journey. You're changing your belief system here. Your belief system is what defines you. It's part of who you are. And you're completely changing it here. And it's a very emotional time as it should be. But it's causing financial, financial ruin. But you have all of this potential creativity in you. It's like this beautiful. You can accomplish so much and justice is right above that and justice is shining down and saying I bless you I bless you with this go with it change get those ideas and let the wind cyclone on them and get that fire burning and, and do it and do it sit there brainstorm you have it in you um, but then the Knight of Pentacles is there and he's holding everything back. He's in the reverse and he's lazy and he's a slob and, um, he's just, this doesn't want to change. Hate, hates change. He hates change and he's jealous. He's very jealous and stubborn and he's holding you back. He's holding all of this beauty that you have to give to the world. He's holding you back. He's holding you prisoner. He's holding you prisoner by your emotions. So just beware of that. All right. Um, so I have the nine of swords in the reverse. So don't sweat the small stuff and get perspective. I have the King of Pentacles. You have the Midas touch. Anything you touch can and will turn to gold. This is ultimate success, wealth. You need to stop being obsessed. You're having this stagnation because you're refusing to accept change. But you're Aquarius. You're an air sign. You are change. The only constant in this universe is everything changes. So you need to let the old die in order to rebuild, in order to get the new. This again is Scorpio energy. So we have Scorpio energy here again. We have death reversed. And then we have the will of fortune. So you have good luck here. Um, anything you want can and will be yours. There's karma here. Good karma. And then we have ultimate completions, but it's in the reverse. Um, so this is number 21. This ends the fool's journey. This is the world reverse, um, which can re represent like graduations. But whenever it reverses, there's carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. There's um, lack of closure, holding on to things that should have been let go a long time ago. Um, there could be abusing the environment, your world being turned upside down, um, being overly focused on appearances. And then I have the King of Cups in the reverse. And the King of Cups is an extreme emotional manipulator. Um, he's moody, sulky, depressed, um, he cheats if he's in a relationship. You can't trust him.
he's completely out of whack with his emotions. And uh, he's Pisces energy. So who is Pisces? Pisces is I believe. Pisces is me. I am a Pisces. I'm a Pisces sun. I'm a Pisces ascendant. I'm a Pisces Venus and a Pisces Mars. So Pisces are very sensitive, deep dreamers. Uh, we escape by fantasy. We withdraw into isolation. We're introverted, we're shy, we're empathic, understanding. Hi, the most psychic sign of all, Aries begins the zodiac. So Aries are the immature soul, they are the fool. Um, Pisces ends the zodiac, we are the world, we've been through it all. Um, we're the mature old souls. We're very creative, healing. Um, vulnerable, adaptable, especially being a mutable sign, we're extremely adaptable. All right, so any other advice for Aquarius? Any other advice for Aquarius? All right, so I see not taking action. Why is not taking action here? Because you need a strategy. Don't take any action until you write down a strategy. You need to think about things. You need to take your time and think about things. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I would hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings as well as affirmation and uh, meditation videos. And um, also, if you like this, please like. I love reading the comments, so if you'll comment, that would be awesome. I would love that. Um, also, I do offer private readings in the description box below. If you like my dress or any of my clothes, I do have a link to where I purchased them in the description box below. Thank you so much. I ha have a wonderful day.